guys. Niels from about Black Dragon Forge. Uh, with your tip of the day. Okay, so uh, can I forge this mystery piece of steel? Well, of course you can. Can it be hardened? <laughs> that is the real question. But if you don't know what steel you've got, um, even in the form of a file, like I have here, um, I'm going to stick it into the forge, and I'm going to heat the tang piece up. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get that thing yellow hot, and then I'm going to stick it into that bucket of water standing there. Yeah, just plain water, nothing funky, nothing fancy. And uh, we want to get this thing as hot as possible, cool it down as quick as possible, in other words, make it as brittle as possible. Then we're going to stick it in a vise, uh, or I'm just going to hang it over the edge of my anvil, and then I'm going to whack it with a hammer. If it breaks like glass, yeah, of course, it can be hand, it can't be hardened, it'll make a knife. Right, now you're going to go, Nils, but obvious, you, you just took a file. I am using a file to illustrate the friggin' point, that's it. I know files can be hardened. They are files for freaking wada wada. But anyways, all right, so this is to illustrate the point. You've got a mystery piece of steel. Don't know if it hardens. This is the process that you follow before you start making that knife and then realize but the steel that you used sucked. Yeah? Okay, you're right back. Okay, well, as you can see, that is nice and hot, right? I'm going to reposition the camera and uh, then we're going to stick it into uh, water. Obviously, I'm going to relight the forge and heat this up while I move the camera. Ready or not, here I come. We'll go a bit force here. Now obviously you won't do that with a, a knife blade. And we'll keep it there because I don't want that tip to temper because of the red heat that's in there. And I don't want to harden any further down because I don't want to screw up my steel. Because quenching in water will create micro fractures in your steel. Doesn't matter how good you believe you are. That's kind of a given. Okay, so uh, here's our piece of hardened steel. We put it on the edge of the anvil, and I'm just going to tip it, and you can see it just break like glass. Right, so that is your first indicator that this steel here is actually hardenable. Now I can see from the overheating, I've got a large grain structure there. Don't worry about it. We're just testing the steel. Alrighty. So yes, this mystery steel, not being a file is hardenable. So now I can use the other side of the steel to actually go and that force my blade. Have fun, enjoy, remember, share your knowledge. Cheers.